welcome to the Grandland video blog for books that came out on April 1st, 2009. As always, I'm Craig, your host. This is part four of four. We're making it to the end of the massive, massive week of comics that came out. And that, my friends, is no April Fool's joke. Next up, uh, the good folks at Hyperworks and uh, at The Shanima have sent me review copies of a book called Roastem. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'll feel really bad if I'm not. Um, these three books are available at theshanima.com. I'm going to put that, hopefully, in post-production right here so you can read it and click on it, and we'll see if YouTube will let me do that. Um, this is an interesting story. It's based on the Shanima, which is an Iranian, like, uh, epic poem. And it's very much a, a fantasy-style story. Here's a character who's like a, you know, a great warrior, and he spends time in this other country, and doesn't know that he sired this child with this beautiful woman in this other country, and he's, you know, working for the king, and the king has weird things happen. The king gets kidnapped, and all these different things go on. Great stuff, great stuff. Uh, it is six dollars, but it's it's solid. I mean, it's real thick. It reads very well. It kind of reminds me of almost like a Dreamwave meets Valiant look. I know Dreamwave isn't around anymore and Valiant isn't around anymore, but if the two like had a look together, you know, that's kind of what it is. You know, it's an interesting look. Um, well worth the six dollars, in my opinion. Um, no ads, of course, for that price. Uh, but it is not available through Diamond. You do have to go to the website again, theshanima.com, or give us. Uh, an email, drop us a line, give us a call, whatever you got to do to contact us here at Grandland Gaming Center. We will definitely get you a copy of this book as well. It's great stuff. It's very interesting, and, and it's nice to see this uh, this build up to you know to see drawing on this you know this mythic epic poem that I don't think a lot of people know exists. You know, it's something that's big in Iranian culture and Iranian history. And it's not, you know, it's obviously not this, like, it's, it's not an ethnic issue. You don't have to be Iranian to understand or to enjoy this story or to enjoy this mythology. And it's, it's really good. Thanks to the guys at the Shanima for sending this. And again, the Shanima.com or us here at Grand Land, either one of us can get you some copies of this excellent, excellent mythology fantasy style story. Very good stuff.